Good evening and welcome to Marketplace. Applications for U.S. home mortgages rose in the latest week. The Mortgage Bankers Association seasonally adjusted index of mortgage application activity rose 4.7% in the week ended January 17. The sub-index of refinancing applications jumped 9.9%, while the gauge of loan requests for home purchases slipped 3.6%. In earnings news, Coach reported an almost 16% slump in profits in the three months to the end of December. The New York-based manufacturer of leather goods said income for its second fiscal quarter totaled 297 million US dollars, or $1.06 per share. Sales during the period dropped more than 5% to 1.42 billion US dollars. The Dow is down 16 points. Britain's central bank indicated it is in no rush to raise interest rates soon, even as the country's unemployment rate fell close to the threshold at which the bank earlier said it will consider a rate hike. Data from the Office for National Statistics showed the jobless rate fell to 7.1% from 7.7% in three months to the end of October. Last August, the central bank said it would not think about raising borrowing costs until the rate hit 7%. But minutes from the bank's most recent meeting showed policymakers are likely to hold back from an immediate rate hike, even though they expect the jobless rate to hit 7% in the next few months. That's because inflation has fallen faster than expected in recent months and hit the central bank's 2% target for the first time in more than four years last month. European markets, the UK FTSE is down four points, the French CAC is up 15 points, and the German DAX is up 14 points. US dollar cross rates, the yen at 104.46, the euro at 1.35, and the Australian dollar at 0.88. The Hang Seng index rose 49 points, or 0.2%, to 23,082. In the night trading session of Hang Seng index futures, January contracts are down four points, with turnover at 1,744 lots. And we take another look at the Dow. The Dow is down 28 points. That's Marketplace for tonight. Thanks for watching. Good night.